Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new to my channel. I'm Shelly and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And you can find all of my stores as well as my Instagram under Shell Bell Posh if you would like to check any of those out um, or follow me on Instagram. I will also have those linked down below in the description box um, if you want to have easier clicks, links to them. Um, and yeah, so this video i did get some thrift with me footage i did go to the goodwill outlet or the goodwill bins um so we're going to jump into the thrift with me footage and then we're going to be back for the haul portion I'm going to show you going through my cart a little bit. First is this pair of American Eagle shorts. And I did like the style of these a lot. They are a newer American Eagle label. But I decided to pass on them because I do have um, some American Eagle shorts, denim shorts, right now in my store. And they're not sold yet. So, I don't know. I left those behind. That was a J. Crew like men's um, baseball tee that I also left behind. It had some stains. Um, this brand is TLA, which is sold at anthropology but it was just a plain like 
tank top so I decided to leave that behind this was kind of a sad piece to leave behind it is marine layer which I do like selling but there was a lot of like discoloration on it it looks like it was maybe washed with like jeans or I don't know just something that was a lot darker and so it did have some discoloration on it I just wasn't confident that I would be able to remove those um, stains so I did have to leave that um, this is a sweater and it had a pretty big hole like on the neckline and it was actually on the front of the neckline so that was one of the reasons I decided to leave it behind. It was the brand Rails and it was either cashmere or wool I forget but it also had some pilling and missing the size tag so I just decided to leave it since we are kind of coming out of sweater season. This was the new tag item it also was a shelf book that had the Goodwill tag on it um, but it was I don't know I like the style style of it a lot it was like a corduroy little dress like shirt dress um but it was not a brand that really does well in my opinion i don't think i've ever picked it up um i have seen comps before so i did leave that um this super ripped up um sweater from tori birch i did pick up um only for the buttons though so i will talk about that a little bit later and then i did find two of the exact same bodysuit from the brand parade and i did pick these up you'll also see those in the haul so that is a brand I've picked up a few times at the bins and it has done um, okay for me it's not like a super expensive seller but it does usually sell um, and then this is a pair of new tag old navy pants that I do look at the date and they were a little bit more recent but I just decided to pass because they are a little bit of a heavier piece so yeah now we're going to go into the haul portion of the video okay we're back for the haul and the location that I go to is two dollars a pound um, I ended up only grabbing nine and a half pounds this day, which I don't know if you've been watching my videos of my Ben's hauls lately. They just have not been great. So hopefully this week's um, Ben's haul will be a little bit better. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I did find some good pieces, though. This first item is a brand that I have sold quite a few times and it usually does pretty well. It is CP Shades. Um, these are in a medium and these are 100% linen. And they do have a little bit of an issue here on the waistband. It has like stretched a little bit where the um, elastic is um, onto like the front part of the waistband that does not have elastic. Um, I did note that in my listing, but these are a pair of wide leg linen pants. And I thought these were really pretty. And like I said, that brand has done pretty well for me in the past. So I did still want to grab those and see if I could... Um, move them even with that flaw next is this little tank top and it is a striped tank top it does have like some metallic thread going throughout which is pretty this is from loft and it's actually new with tags it retailed for $45 so I decided to pick this up since it was new with tags and it is a size extra large so a nice size and it is from a recent year and then next up we have a brand i really like picking this up it is a bread and butter brand for me but i really do like grabbing it it is toad and co um this is a size small and i think this is a dress i have not listed this yet um it does have pockets i mean it might just be a tune like a really long tunic top but i'm not for sure normally on their like interior material tag um it will say like the style name but unfortunately, this one was cut out, and so I have not looked it up yet. Um, so we'll see if this is a dress or a tunic top. But either way, I grabbed this. And it is a little bit newer just because it is Toad & Co. It used to be called Horny Toad. So if it says Horny Toad still on the tag, it is a little bit of an older piece. Um, but I still have picked up Horny Toad in the past as well. So, yeah. And then, oh, and my mic. Oh, my mic just died. So... Sorry about that. We're going to take that off because it died. Um, next, I was excited to find this. I haven't found this brand in a while. It is Skims and it's a size large. And I think this is their everybody, like fits everybody t-shirt. I'm pretty sure I need to double check um, um, the style and stuff. But I think this is what it is. And comps looked like pretty okay on Poshmark. Um, like 25 to some even higher than that, like 40-ish. Um, but just a nice black stretchy t-shirt so i grabbed that and that's like a super unassuming piece in the bins i feel like um not really a piece people are like looking for because it's just kind of like a small little black t-shirt in the corner 
but I grabbed it, it felt nice, and it was skimmed. So I don't think that will sell for like a crazy amount of money or anything, but I do feel like Skims is a brand that people are looking for. Um, so I did go ahead and grab that. Next is two bodysuits, and this is the brand Parade. And they're both in a large, and they're actually the same bodysuit. They're kind of like a mesh fabric, but it's double lined mesh. So it's not like super like see-through, but it is a little bit more sheer. Um, yeah, just a bodysuit snaps on the bottom. And I found it in this color as well as this color. Um, so these are going to be being listed together just because Parade, it doesn't retail for like a ton, but I have sold it a few times and it has done okay. Um, at the bins, I would usually pick it up as long as it's in good condition and things like that. And having it two in the same size, same style, I figure it's an easy listing to do both of them. Next is, I think this might be my only men's piece I grabbed. This is a pair of Banana Republic shorts and they are the corduroy short they are bringing our public factory it looks like they're a size large um they are more recent spring 2022 i just really like these i think they're they're too big for my husband unfortunately otherwise i'd see if he would keep these um they're just like a blue little short corduroy short so i don't know i really like these we'll see how they do i think with spring and summer coming up people will be looking for shorts and things so i did decide to grab those next is a disney item and this is alice in wonderland little jean shorts these are by um, her universe which i have sold a decent amount of um these are a size like juniors 11. i think on their like size chart said like that's like a size large we'll have measurements and everything in the listing so but yeah i grabbed these i thought they were cute and I actually grabbed one other Disney piece, but this one might be staying in my family. One of my sisters might do it, keep it. Um, it is Disney Her Universe again, and it is this little, little um, mermaid dress. So this might be being kept because I actually found a pair of Little Mermaid um, Disney ears like a few couple weeks ago now. Um, so I thought that would be cute, like a little matching outfit. And then oh, one other Disney piece, which I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I do need to wash it because it does have some discoloration on it. But it is this like adorable kind of like jersey style t-shirt. And it is 101 Dalmatians, which when I was a little kid, that was my favorite Disney movie. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I think it is really cute. It is definitely vintage. The tag is, sorry about the lighting. The tag is um, very worn, so you can't even see the size anymore, unfortunately. But, oh, it does. Okay, I can see it in the sunlight. It is a medium. So we'll see. This might be listed, might be kept. Um, one piece that is kind of a mess. I think I showed this in the haul. Um, this is a sweater, which has huge, huge holes in it, but it is Tory Burch and i wish i had like scissors or something i did try to like pull on these buttons because i actually grabbed this only for the buttons i will be taking the buttons off and listing those separately i did that kind of recently on a toy birch piece and i don't remember how much let me check really quickly how much those sold for i think they sold for at least 20 which for some buttons from the bins is pretty good but like I said, I do wish I didn't have to buy the whole sweater. Yeah, $20 for five buttons, which is the same amount I have now. So, I don't know. I grabbed them, and maybe that will be a reason for me to, like, bring scissors and stuff or something to the bins in case that happens again. Because um, I would have preferred to just purchase the buttons, but I did not have a way to get them off while I was there. Um, next, we have a pair of jeans, a nice, like, mid-wash jean and these are american eagle and these are the curvy mom jean in a size eight so that is i wanted to grab them because they are the curvy style which i think i have sold maybe like only once the curvy american eagle i like selling the curvy abercrombie and fitch a lot um these do have a tiny tiny bit of like um stretching right here but not too bad so i grabbed those and then i also picked up this pair of denim little shorts definitely coming into the season these are judy blue and they're a size large 
and kind of weird for shorts to be like, you know, meet small, medium, large. They are super stretchy though. Um, and I think I, there was a size chart online that I think I did put on there. So I got these a little bit of a longer length, nice light wash. And then is this the last item. Yes. Our last piece is another pair of jeans and these are actually new with tag. So I grabbed them. They retail for $80. They are from Altered State, which doesn't always do great for me, but I did really like this style and they were new with tags. They are like a loose fit, kind of straight leg jean with some distressing and like a raw hem and a size 31, so also a nice size. So I decided to give these a go. We will see. Hopefully they sell um, for a decent amount. They're not like super heavy or anything, but um, yeah, that is this whole haul. So. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I'm picking up, even when I'm not able to find a ton of items at the Goodwill outlet. Um, and please subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. It really helps me out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.